Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. I'm getting out of hand. Speaking of legs, today we're going to be taking a look at the Handy Gear and the Handy Carry. Most of you have probably heard of the Handy Gear already. It's a case for the Game Boy, the DMG. We'll take a look at that obviously in this video. But not many of you will have heard of this, the Handy Gear, which realistically is anything but handy. But let's take a look at them. So if you could give me a hand and like this video, I would really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without any further ado, let's take a look at this one. So big thank you to my friend John for lending me this. This is the Handy Carry by Joy Plus. Protective carrying case for your Game Boy. Soft plastic casing for better protection and gripping. Detachable screen cover. Screen cover adjusts to any angle to prevent glare from lighting. That's funny, with the DMG and any other of the old LCD screens, typically you don't want to be covering up any light source because you require it to see what you're doing. Adjustable carrying strap, wow, so exciting. So let's go ahead and take it out. Oh, looks like a gimp suit. <laughs> uh, it's really tough rubber, I think it might have gone a bit hard over time. To test this case, we're going to be using a minuet copy of Tetris inside of the DMG that we recently refurbished. So let's go ahead and chuck this thing inside. Oh, no. What? Ugh. It doesn't... It doesn't fit. The A button is permanently... What? The A button is... is permanently depressed. I mean, the A button's now just not usable. It just doesn't work at all. I mean, in fairness, the rest of it's not too bad, but the, the A button doesn't even work. We must remember this is an old piece of rubber, so it might have just gone really hard over over the period of time that it's, uh, it's sat in a box never being used. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... It's awful. Okay, let's just get this Game Boy out. Oh. Well, John, it looks like you're getting a free Game Boy. <laughs> what? It's it's legitimately stuck in here. At least this is detachable. <laughs> wow, uh, I don't know what to say. Quality control passed, but obviously they didn't try and get the thing out. We need this out because I haven't got any more batteries. And look, now the, uh, the D-pod's getting stuck in there. Oh, come on. I'm going to be scratching up my brand new uh, screen protector. Oh, there we go. Ah, I scratched it in the process. Look, I've ruined my new sticker that I bought off eBay. Oh, handy carry. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the Handy Gear. This I am incredibly excited for. This thing looks amazing. Look at it, it's ginormous. It doesn't even look like a Game Gear anymore. Handy Gear, the all-in-one accessory for Game Gear. Play in case, water resistant, shock absorbent. I hope it can absorb my shock because I'm very. Screen magnifier, glare reducer, inner storage for extra game, and carrying strap. Play your game gear anywhere. Could I not do that before? Right, here we go, let's take it out. Oh, look at the size of it. It's Batman's armor for the game gear. Oh yes, magnifying glass. This is ginormous, look at the size of it. <laughs> As if the game gear wasn't unwieldy enough. It's literally double the thickness, love that. Okay, so one thing to mention, the rubber seals in this are probably not going to be fantastic now. So I won't be submerging it underwater, although I don't think that's what it was really 
advertising it could do anyway, despite the fact that there's some really like weird looking system to keep the water out, which would indicate that it probably is waterproof, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that. And look, even the speaker's got like a cover on it. So yeah, water resistant realistically means you can just walk around with this in the rain and, and maybe put it around your neck whilst you're rock climbing and hopefully you don't fall in. This clasp looks terrible. I can honestly press that down with my nose. So I don't really think that's gonna do anything under any depth of water. Uh, so you've got all of the little uh, covers for your ports and a door here for the phone and volume. And that rubber in there has 100% perished. Oh, my thumb has now gone a weird color. Uh, and then there's another one over here for the power and DC nine volt. And then you've got another little flap for the brightness control. Uh, that's lovely. And then on the bottom, you've got nothing and then you have your neck brace just to be able to wield this thing because it's massive. So let's pop in our game gear. Wow. Um, also, where was the... Uh, oh, how do you get this out? What's happening? Right, where's the storage for the game? Oh. That's the, that's the game storage. Well, I mean, it's anything storage. I could put a little sandwich in there. What on earth? That's just gonna rattle around, smack the back of your game gear. I love it. And, you, and by the way, as well, you can't put a different game in once this thing is in. So that is something to note. Uh, whilst considering buying this, not that anybody really is, other than for the comedic value. Okay, here we go. We're closing it up. Boom, we're in. Okay, those buttons don't feel too bad. Right, let's knock on the door and see if we're allowed in. What a stupid joke. Okay, jeez, look at the... Oh, and now I understand why there's a magnifying glass. It's because the game gear is so far in that you can hardly actually see it. All right, didn't this also say glare reduction? Yeah, glare reducer. Look, there's even, there's bloody four reflections of the light above me. <laughs> How is that glare reducer? Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, and you can't even see it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this light off. All right, so I have uh, turned off the light and massively bumped up the contrast on my uh, camera above so we can actually see what's going on. And uh, it doesn't look too bad, in fairness. The thing about these magnifying screen lens things is it always looks like a bit of the screen is cut off, and that's probably because it actually is. And also, my arms hurt holding this thing up, like really, really hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. The speaker as well isn't suffering too badly from the thick plastic that it's having to penetrate in order to get to my ears, but it's not doing too badly. Um, I just don't know why anyone would want this. Actually, looking at it in the, the naked eye, not through the camera, it does look rather good. The uh, the screen is beautifully magnified. Magnified? Magnified? I think that is a word. Yeah, it, it looks good and it feels good as well. These D-pad and uh, action buttons are fine. Absolutely fine. The LED pass-through as well is nice and bright as well, so that uh, little clear piece of plastic tubing must go straight down to the LED, as if that's an important point to mention, but I just thought I would. Not a lot of positives about this thing. Uh, but yeah, the, the weight of it is just ridiculous. By the way, shout out to Shank Mods, by the way, for showing me that this thing existed. Um, so there we go, that's actually really not that bad at all. I love it, I really do like it. I love it more because of its sort of comedic value, not necessarily as a functional um, object, but you can see it's about three DMGs big, uh, which is very funny. Um, I feel like it could just be a bit of an annoying thing, really, just to carry around with you, but I do absolutely adore uh, this thing. So there we go. That is the handy gear and the handy carry. Anything but handy, honestly, they are a nuisance, uh, especially to get that game gear out. That was a massive struggle. Uh, but on the positive side, they might come in handy with the uh, the woman. 